11 out of 10. Oh my god, let's go! Welcome to Go Park! Hello! If you're new here, my name is Judy, and today's video we are in Gongguan. Gongguan is one of the districts in Taipei, which is also one of the districts that I used to live in. So Gongguan has one of Taiwan's top universities, which is called National Taiwan University, NTU, which means Gongguan is a huge college town. It has the perfect hustle and bustle. The biggest part of living here was the food that it has. There's so many options to choose from. So many different cuisines, so good. Everything's so delicious, so cheap. So this is definitely the area for your xiaochi, your small snacks, small eats. Super affordable because it is a college town. And there's always such a variety of options to choose from. And besides food, there is just everything that you need. Your shoe stores, your clothing stores, your optometrists. Anything you need, Gongguan has it. So I definitely miss this place. And today's video, we're going to try all of the popular snacks in Gongguan. And before we begin eating, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, give this video a like, comment down below which snack intrigue you the most, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post and follow along with me on to our first snack of the day. I haven't had this in so long. Before the borders were closed, any time that my friends would come to Taiwan to visit, this would be a must-go place. It's so hot! It's actually really hot. Oh my god, I'm already sweating bullets. So, as you can see, we have some cilantro, some peanuts, the soured pickles, swan tai, and of course, the braised pork. And then this fat bun. And I always get half and half. So half fat and half of the meat. So it's the best of both worlds. Let's have a Peanut definitely sweetens the whole taste of the burger. We have a little sweet and a little salty with the braised pork. Alright, second bite. I don't know if you're a cilantro fan, but I'm a huge cilantro fan. It can be on anything. And with this bun, definitely gives it a little refreshing taste. Wow, wow. Highly recommend. <gasps> this is the building that I used to live and I used to live on the roof. On the rooftop. I miss this place so much. Literally so much to eat as soon as I come down. Just to pick up one of these sticks 
This is also a very traditional and popular snack for Tony's mobile. It's pig blood cake. Yes, pig blood cake. And it's served in a stick like this. They sprinkle a lot of the peanuts. As you can tell, peanut is a very popular theme. A lot of the- Oh my god, that's so melting! Okay, hold on. Let me take a bite. off the pig blood cake but they also sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on top and the texture is quite chewy you probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's pig blood but it's pig blood pig blood cake and it's quite good it's a nice little snack it's only 25 NT. very very popular and this stall in particular in Gongguan is always very busy pig blood cake. Vermicelli. Honestly, as a meat lover and carnivore, this does it for me because but just like the amount of chives and vermicelli is so good and it's always just so crispy and soft at the same time. I might go vegetarian for a day by eating this bao. And as you can see behind me, there are a variety of sauces you can also put on to your bun. There's a spicy sauce. There's also the soy sauce, jiangyo. But honestly, for me, I'm all about the original taste. It already tastes so good, so I never really need to put any additional sauce on it. But if you're a spice lover, you can feel free to also add a little bit of red sauce, a bit of spice to your sui jian bao. No, 30 years, 
and it's just again cooked to perfection. Look at this. A bunch of sesame seeds on top, bottom, perfectly not too burnt, but it's got the perfect crisp. Let's take a bite. Taiwan. 